close your eyes and watch your breath. And watch your mind watching your breath. Make sure it doesn't wander off. You stay with the sensation of the breathing, but also notice if there's any tendency of the mind to want to leave. You try to counteract that tendency by making the breath pleasant. If deep breathing feels good right now, try deep breathing. If shallow breathing feels good, try that. If you're not sure, you can experiment. Long, short, heavy, light. All kinds of ways of breathing. And you have to decide what you like. Learning how to depend on yourself like this is an important principle in the practice. We take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha. But that doesn't mean that the Buddha is going to do the work for us or the Dharma or the Sangha will do the work for us. We look to them for good examples. And then we try to internalize those examples, whatever their virtues are that we try to develop within ourselves. They were truthful. They were observant. So we need to be truthful and observant, too. It's in this way that we learn how to depend on ourselves. As the Buddha said, atta yatano nato, the self is its own mainstay. We can be your own mainstay only when you've trained yourself to be dependable. So we look to the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha for examples. They show us how it's done. They show us what kind of people we have to be if we want to find true happiness. And then we do what we can to develop the potentials we have inside to become those people. We tend to be lazy. Okay, We have to learn how to find where in our makeup is the potential to be energetic. If we tend to be sloppy, where, where in our makeup is the, tend, is the possibility or the potential to be more meticulous. We have good qualities and bad qualities mixed up in our minds, and you want to be able to sort them out and learn how to nurture the good ones. It's like finding amidst the weeds a little sprout of a tree. The kind of tree that gives fruit, the kind of tree that gives shade, that gives flowers. So you have to protect it. Make sure the weeds don't smother it. Give it water. Clear away the other weeds. And that little tree will grow. You have to look carefully for the good things you have inside you. They're there. You also have to watch out for the, the bad things that come in that are also in little forms to begin with. Because they can spread really quickly. They're like weeds, as I said there. It doesn't take them from too long to fill a whole field. But they don't give you any shade, they don't provide any help, and when a fire comes they tend to go up in flames. So look for your good potentials and nurture them with care. And that's how you find that you have within you the things that you can depend on, so you can become your own mainstay. At that point you won't have to depend on the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, and you'll be able to be a mainstay for other people. Give them good examples as well.